it's a beautiful May evening. Uh, it's been nice and warm today and it's, it's lovely this evening. And we're out with Frank Stevenson of Guns on Pegs and we're going muntjac stalking. So thank you very much for coming down to see us this afternoon. Now Frank does a lot of stalking over uh, in Suffolk. Suffolk. yeah. And you're a muntjac aficionado, could we say? I wouldn't go that far. Right, okay. <laughs> we'll see. Well, you've, you've stalked quite a few, so. Several. A little bit different now for us, this rolling countryside here in Northamptonshire, Absolutely. but hopefully that's something a little bit different for you. So we've seen a couple of roebuck out on the field behind us. There is a lot of movement. There's been a lot of muntjac around here, but there's also quite a lot of foxes. So Frank's got to keep his eyes and ears open for a variety of pests as well as deer species. So Frank's used to shooting a Merkel RX Helix, and today it's a little bit different, SAW 202 bolt action rifle. And it's one that I've used quite a lot myself over the years. So I hope it works well for you tonight. <laughs> And <laughs> we better get you out in the seat. Absolutely. Good luck. Thank you very much. So we're in Northamptonshire on a spring day, lovely day, ready to see what's about. Usually most of the stalking I do is in East Anglia, so it's a really nice change to have some rolling hills for once. So Watto said he's seen a roebuck travelling just across here over the last couple of weeks. Keen to see if we see that and also he's seen several muntjac travelling around and a fox or two as well, so it'll be interesting to see what we find this evening. Right, we're here this evening. We're going to have a quick look out for the last couple of hours, see if we can find a half decent month jack. A little bit late in the year for that, really, but you never know your luck. Or potentially, we're going to have a look for a roll book. We're just going to head off and see what this Sever rifle can produce. So yeah, there we are, Munchak down. We started to stalk and Keith told me about this little gully that we would stalk into and as soon as we <laughs> got over the brows, there was actually a Munchak coming right, right towards us on the right here. And I got on the sticks, still increased the magnification a little, took the shot straight down, couldn't be more thrilled. Top quality gear, ZO 100, Hawk scope, Hornady ammunition, and a big old Munchak down. Keith, thank you so much. Amazing, amazing experience. Thank you very much. No Truly grateful for it. And that's his first month, Jack. <laughs> I think I'm quite lucky. It's a good buck. Yeah, yeah. There's another one barking in the background still, yeah. so. So the sun is just setting over the hill in the distance. We've spotted a, a doe probably around 150 yards in the direction of where we came in, but kept a good eye on her and fortunately didn't take the shot because we spotted a, a follower in the hedge just behind her. Hopefully if we stay patient, we might start to see a few more before it gets too dark. Unfortunately, yeah, we have lost the light, as you can probably see. A bit of a quiet night, apart from the doe that we saw over in the far corner where we came from. But unfortunately, she had a follower with her, so let them continue 
to live happily in the woodland around here. We just had something underneath our high seat, but unfortunately just too dark in, under the canopy, so couldn't work out what it was and, and no point staying much longer. So better luck next time. Hopefully we'll have more luck in the morning. So we're out in Northamptonshire on a bright, sharp morning. Perfect conditions, really. Bit of a breeze coming straight towards us. We've got a horizontal ride here with a vertical one cutting straight across. Be interesting to see what we find this morning. We've been in the high seat now for about an hour, hour and a half, just to see what's going on. It's been relatively quiet, but we have seen a muntjac at the end of the ride in front of us cross probably about 30 or 40 minutes ago now. So we're gonna get out and have a walk down the ride behind us, hoping that anything that we scare or move on heads that way, away from the road, which runs at the back of the wood here. So once we've made it to the end of this ride, we'll then work our way back down the end of the ride ahead of us and tuck ourselves into another high seat up there if we haven't seen anything between now and then. So yeah, another beautiful morning out here. Stalked into our high seat, sat there for about two hours. Saw one Munchak doe. I didn't see if there was a follower or not, so I decided not to take the shot because I didn't want to leave an off and young. Saw what was, in my opinion, a big dog fox then, but couldn't quite get the shot because he was constantly moving. Gave it a squeal, he came out for one second, in again, so no chance there really. And then we decided to go for a bit of a stalk around the area. Saw some nice frays out right on the edge of the field 
fields from a roebuck, but unfortunately the buck didn't show up, no munch check out. What I thought was, well, let's go where, the, where we saw the fox before and try to give it a squeal down there, and that's what we did. And right after one minute, there's a cub coming in. I see the flicker, so I get ready on the sticks and squeal it again and came right in and shot it at about 20 yards. Perfect, just the way you want it. Great, great morning, getting really warm now, so I think the deer will settle. So we'll give it a couple of hours and see what tonight brings. After we left the last high seat, we pushed the munch jack out of the thick cover which was heading this way. Just as we got to the high seat, pushed another deer that crept into the block behind us. And since then, we have been working the buttalo for a little while just to see if we can get some action. Seen a young deer cross the ride in front of us, but just completely mobile, not stopping. Quite a young one as well, so good one to leave. I think the plan now is to head back down the central ride, have a quick look around over the tracks we've already been, see if we've moved anything around, maybe get back in the other high seat just for the last sort of 30 or 40 minutes before we head off. So, fingers crossed. So unfortunately it's time to head home now. We headed back down the main ride, as we said before, and got back into the original high seat to try the buffalo from here. Had some luck and called a buck in right behind the seat, but just couldn't get a good shot on him. And he flirted with it for quite some time before heading back deeper into the wood to live another day. So better luck next time, but um, time to head home for a, a nice shower and enjoy the weather. So how's your day, Frederick? Yeah, quite quite good. We we stalked in to our high seat. The first thing we see at twilight still was a what I think was a big dog fox. Fortunately didn't get a get a shot at that. Then we saw a munchak doe, which I didn't want to shoot because I didn't know if there was a follow or something, so I didn't want to risk leaving an offered young. Yeah. When stalking afterwards, after we sat for about two hours, didn't see anything, some phrase of a roebuck, but the roebuck wasn't there unfortunately, and then I stalked down to where I saw the dog fox, gave it a, a squeak down there, and cub came in, and then shot that off the sticks at 20 meters or something, so. Good work. Good, exciting morning, how about you? Yeah, a little less successful. Again, stalked into the high seat this morning, saw a very, very long range muntjac, but mm. just, you know, ultra mobile across the ride without any opportunity of a shot. Spent a bit of time in there and then went for a bit of a walk. Bumped into a couple, but with a thick cover, there's no opportunity of a shot. And so just carried on creeping through the main ride of the wood up to the second high seat. Had a bit of a sit there, saw an exceptionally small Munt Jack that was playing around between the ride, so which we decided, to, yeah, very, very young one. Decided to leave that and had a go on the buffalo, but nothing else was around. And then we headed back to the original high seat again, just for the last sort of 30, 40 minutes. Played around with the buffalo a bit more and called a buck in probably 
five or six metres behind the seat but just didn't get an opportunity for a shot. Cover really, that's the thing I learned now with Montreal really is, I mean they're, they're always in cover and they're always moving so, but I mean that's that's what makes it that exciting I think so. Right Frederick, I'm off today so really enjoyed your company, really enjoyed hunting with you. Same, for sure. Congratulations on your first month. <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, and, and definitely come back for a fallow deer. I know you're really good for those. So we'll definitely, well. thank you. And if you want to come for a boar, always welcome. We'll, we'll sort it out. Perfect. Have a good trip home. Thank you. Bye, Bye, Bye,